What is up guys, it is Henry, and today I want to show you guys how to set up and use Tor Browser. So Tor Browser is very similar to Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox, except it keeps you anonymous on the web. It's very similar to a proxy or VPN. The only difference is that Tor only keeps you anonymous within the browser itself, whereas proxies and VPNs make everything leaving your computer anonymous. So here's the download page for Tor Browser. I'll leave a link in it for in the description. You just press download. I'm using Google Chrome. It might look different, but just save the file to your computer. Once it's done downloading, you just open it up and you go through the setup. Install. And then just let it run here for a bit. I'll get back to you guys when it's done installing. Alright, so it is finished installing. You'll come up with this. If you want it to run when you're done installing, click this. And I advise that you guys check this so you'll get an icon on your desktop as well as your start menu. Give it a few moments. The first time you open Tor Browser, it will take a while to connect and you'll have to set a few things up. The second time though, it's all done for you. Unless something is very seriously wrong, you can normally get away with just pressing connect and that's all you have to do. So you just press connect and this should work just fine. This shouldn't take more than a few minutes, but I'll get back to you guys when it's done connecting. Once it's done connecting, it will automatically open up Tor Browser, as you can see, and it will happen to you too. I'm going to show you guys a few settings I think everyone should change for better privacy and just useful settings now. So when you're here, this is how you change your search engine. Many people prefer different search engines. I would advise people use DuckDuckGo within this browser because it does not track you. And when you're inside this browser, the whole purpose is to remain anonymous. So you're going to want to use DuckDuckGo. But and all these are fine depending on what you want. Next, click on the top right, go to Options, and go to Content. Make sure this is checked. Again, if you don't want it checked, that's perfectly fine. I'm just showing you guys useful settings I think you guys should use. Next, go to Privacy, and do not tell sites anything about my tracking preferences. I would advise checking this. You do not want to be tracked at all. Next, this is a personal preference as to whether you want to remember history or never remember history. Again, if you're going for the most secure way of doing this, of course, never remember history is the best way to go. But some people might want to remember their history so they'll have their searches and everything to go back to. Next, um, security. And there's some good options in here. I would advise just checking all of these um, unless there's a pers personal preference again for you not wanting to use something I would people should use all of these and if you want to have a master password to get into Tor this is how you do it as well if you're interested in doing that that's really all there is to Tor browser it's very pretty straightforward it's a great way to stay anonymous if you don't want to encrypt everything that leaves your computer. I think everyone should have this. It's a great browser. So remember guys, Tor is a great solution to use by itself or alongside a VPN to help keep you anonymous on the web. Just remember that Tor browser only keeps you safe within the browser itself and nowhere else, whereas a VPN would protect all traffic leaving your computer. I'll have a link in the description for a 100% free VPN for all Apple i devices and Android devices. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and if you have any questions or need any help, just let me know in the comments. I'll get back to you guys very quickly. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.